Mm. I thought these podcasts were done. Because I'm always on time and I was really stressing that we were going to miss it. You're but... what? You're what? You're always on time. I am always on time. That's a statement. Are you joking? When when are I ever late? I thought I lost my headphones. Um, so I was walking around the <laughs> airport with find my iPhone, find my headphones, walking around the whole fucking thing, thinking I'd lost them somewhere. Um, turns out they're in my suitcase. Obviously, they were at the airport, just not on me. So I was walking around like an absolute twat. Whoa. That's a good one. I was about to get my affirmation up, but I don't think I'm going to need it after that. Constant abuse and miserable old men in there, like just shouting and getting angry. You're and, one uh, of them. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to A Couple of Coaches podcast with me <laughs> and my lovely co-host, Mike. Max is literally like, fuck this, I ain't being in this video. Um, I thought these podcasts were done. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Hope we're all good. And welcome back to you, Mike, as you only got back from holiday. Last, About two hours ago. Well, early hours of this morning. So yeah. you're a little bit tired. Well, I'm, I'm a little bit tired. Shattered. Um, but yeah, lovely delay. It's just what you want, isn't it? Saw a lot of flights and stuff being cancelled over the weekend, to Do you be know fair. What? When we got to the airport yesterday, like on the screen, it was like red, red, red. And I was thinking, oh, and ours was like 45 minutes delayed. And then it went to an hour, and it was an hour and a half. Mm. You know, when it starts getting bigger and bigger, and you think, you're going to go, you're going to cancel it in a minute. So you were lucky, really. And also, do you know what? Do you know what I realised yesterday? And how lucky we were? Because it said, we went through security, and then we went to... Italy to get some pasta, which is banging by the way, we, we should go. Italy? It's called Italy. Oh, it's a restaurant. Yeah, it was 10 out of 10. What, they only have it in Italy? Italy. No, I think they have one in London. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, I've got another story as well. And so we, we went, and, went and had some food uh, and then I thought I lost my headphones. Um, so I was walking around the <laughs> airport with find my iPhone, find my headphones, walking around the whole fucking thing, thinking I'd lost them somewhere. Um, turns out they're in my suitcase. So obviously, they were at the airport, just not on me. So I was walking around like an absolute twat, looking for these headphones that were in a suitcase that's probably on a truck somewhere. Um, but anyway, um, obviously, when you go to you go through security, you then have like the, the duty free and the restaurants and all that jazz. But obviously, now like Brexit, all that jazz, or since then, obviously you should notice. You obviously then need to go through like the border security and stuff. Yeah, and uh, we was like going running because we thought we'd be late and then there's like a huge queue mm. and luckily the plane was further delayed otherwise mm. you'd be in that queue for ages so yeah always got to remember when you go uh go abroad in europe or even anywhere just remember that border we just, just um, remember it i didn't even tell you about when we went to barcelona we had a bit of a panic Did you? so we had like a really early morning flight because you took me to the airport didn't yeah, you yeah. um and I got there on time. One of the other girls I was going with, her train got delayed. So she was running late. Um, so when I got there, I knew they were going to be a bit later. So I went through to like airside. I went and sat down. I was like, I'll get us a table for breakfast, order us a drink. Um, and I think security was much busier for them than it was for when I went through. So they were queuing to get through security. They're taking ages. So I said, I'll send you a picture of the breakfast menu and you can pick your breakfast. So they told me. So I ordered. Um... And then they finally got there and we literally realised we had about 20 minutes before our gate like closed mm. and our breakfast still hadn't come yet. So we were like, and we had to ask for to get our breakfast, take like a full blown, full, full English in like a takeaway box. Oh, nice. And then we had to run to the gate, like actually run got there and to be fair they were about to you know where you queue and you show them your boarding pass and your passport and then you go through to like get on the plane yeah, yeah. they were literally shutting that bit they were announcing this is your last call for blah 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 so we did literally just get there Jesus. on time and then we were stressing rushing and then you get to like where you get on the plane and people are still queuing to get on the yeah, bloody yeah, plane yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then we had our takeaway full english in this box and I told you, didn't I? I got sat with all these like Ravers. party people that were going to these festivals in Barcelona. So I felt too embarrassed to get my did little. No, I did. I did eventually. But at first I was like, oh my God, I can't get out oh, my takeaway. I know it was a little bit cold. Oh, but yeah, that was a bit of a rush to be fair. And 
the two girls that I go with live life on the edge. They're quite like, they'll be late and sort of, they kept joking saying, Emma, this is what it's like to be like late. Because I'm always on time and I was really stressing that we were going to miss it. You're but what? You're what? You're always on time. I am always on time. That's a statement. Are you joking? When, when am I ever late? Every time. No, do you know, do you know why this is actually going to annoy me? Because Mike hates people being late. Like he really gets annoyed and I completely get that. So like, I am so conscious of be always being on time for him. Whenever we go anywhere or do anything, do I or do I not say, please, can you give me a time that I need to be ready for? And am I ready for that time every single time? Yeah. Yes. Things that don't include you, I might be a little bit late for, but anything to do with you, I make I make you such make, an effort. You're making effort. me sound like a fucking domestic husband. <laughs> oh God, we're going to get trouble No, again. I hate people being late, so I make sure I'm on time. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Honestly, this podcast. Um, Sorry, it's really funny. You can't see this, but the dog's asleep and his big floppy ear is over his eyes like oh, an eye mask. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Sorry. just knocked out, isn't it? Carry on. So um, you had a nice holiday. Yeah, I had a yeah. lovely holiday. Florence and Rome. Uh, Rome's too hot, though. Yeah. It's cool. Very cool, Rome. Like, watch, look at all the ancient, like, ruins yeah, and stuff. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know, because, you know, I don't mm. get invited to these Coliseum, nice romantic very, places. very, very cool, the fountains and... Yeah. Yeah, but it was just, it was just hot. It was, like, 38 degrees and it had this, like, Sahara wind, so you're basically walking around in a sauna. Mm, you caught quite a tan as yeah, well. Yeah, it was just, it was just constantly, it's just uncomfortable. Even at dinner at night, you're just sitting there and it's just, like, you're just soaking wet. Mm. So, yeah, but no, it was good. Loads of steps, loads of pasta. Nice. You April spritzes. Yeah. Yeah, it was good fun. I enjoyed it. Good. Good to have you back. It's actually quite weird doing a podcast when we haven't seen each other in yeah, a good like few what, days. Yeah, literally. I'm about half two. Yeah. So we we literally haven't really, really uh, we haven't really spoke. Yeah. Still nothing to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> How's um, your week been? Yeah, brilliant. I love being alone on my own. Um, no, it's actually nice because we obviously spend a lot of time together. So it's nice to actually, we both said to each other, didn't we? We actually missed each other a bit. Oh, I already said that. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> um, let's talk about the England game then. Yeah, I know. That was quite cool. Loads of different emotions throughout that game. Well, there's a shit in there, really. Do you know um, what I think? Every England fan was absolutely proved wrong in the end. Have you seen all the things on TikTok where it's like all the different emotions of like people watching the football yeah, yeah. and the first bit is like, they're fucking shit. They should be so embarrassed. I'm never watching them again. And then in the end England. they're like, yeah. I love England. They're the best. It's coming home. <laughs> Southgate, you're the one. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Football's yeah. a funny game. It is a funny yeah. game. But I mean, it was, I mean, to be fair, England, I mean, it's, it's so obvious. England have, have clearly been very, very, very bad in the tournament and they are probably yet to, play a team that is in the top, the bloody top 10 but still in the competition aren't they just yeah not making not making light work of it but um yeah i don't know if they go and win it then then what can you say yeah yeah i mean i'm not very into football am i but when england play i do i do like it it's the only bit of football that i actually enjoy watching yeah. not into the premiership or anything like that no but it was quite a it was quite a cool game i, I was, mean yeah i was sat at home on my own <laughs> <laughs> with Max. Did you, did you celebrate? Yeah, I was like shouting and screaming. Was he was jumping around. I you went on your phone. Well, um, I was until they scored and then I was right into it. I was actually so bored at first. I was literally like, I don't even know why I'm sat here watching yeah, it. Yeah, we found a uh, standard, standard Brit abroad. Uh, we found a um, an Irish bar because there wasn't many. We basically went to this, like, um, basically went to this neighbourhood where we were supposed to... Uh, like a drinking tour. Mm. It's in like a quieter neighbourhood. So they didn't really have any like bars with like TVs. In the other neighbourhood when the Italy game was on, there was like TVs outside. There was loads of people. We're like, let's just go to the other place because we need to be there anyway. And if the game goes like the distance, then we're in the right location. Mm -hmm. And there was nothing there apart from like this Irish bar. And we walked in there within like, we got in, within like five minutes we got there, it just got packed. Mm. It was just rammed. And it was just loads of English people. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it was a, it was obviously a crap game, but all you could I don't I don't even want to say the language on this podcast, oh, but gosh. it was f this, see this, your shit. Like I was just a constant abuse and miserable old men in there, like just shouting and getting angry. You're and, one uh, of them. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't that bad really. I mm. wasn't really drinking, and um, 
yeah, then the girl went in and you just had a group of men just cuddling random men. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was, I think I would kiss on the head about five times by random old men. I love the uh, videos that you see online of like people, there's people that just like fall over fall or over. like fall over. I mean, off I think, a there, was a couple, I think there was two men on the floor. I mean, everyone was just jumping up, going mad. And then obviously it, straight away in the uh, extra time that it scores again, it just went mad again. Mm. Then everyone's singing cool. songs and, and, and loving, uh, loving the England squad. Um, and yeah, we missed the uh, we missed the drinking tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We went extra time, didn't it? <laughs> it was a pretty cool game in the end. Yeah, it was good fun. It's quite exciting. But so, yeah. Emma. Hello. We're going on holiday next. We are going on holiday next. Um, we're going to Crete as mm. long as there's no wildfires. Yeah, so they're starting you, to break out. They're starting to break again. out a bit in Cos, which is another island, but it's still quite close to Crete. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but we are going on holiday and we thought that would be something that we speak about today because we know obviously there's a lot of other people who are probably currently going on holiday or have mm-hmm. just come back from holiday. Um, and it's just sort of how to not let your holiday basically fuck everything up. Yeah. I mean, if you're a a, a, a top listener of this podcast and we've probably spoke about this a few times, but mm. it's good to recap sometimes. And mm-hmm. It just seems, um, what's the word? It seems... Relevant. Relevant, yeah, because mm. we're in summer. I've just been away. We're going away. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Again, it all comes down to what you are on your fitness journey for, doesn't yeah. it? And what your goals are. So if you have purely just been training, trying to lose body fat or whatever it is, get into shape purely just for this one amazing holiday that you've booked this year, then you're probably going to go on that holiday and not give a fuck and enjoy yourself and mm. have a little, lot of fun. Whereas if you are currently on a fitness journey that you're trying to create into a lifestyle and you want to pursue that after your holiday or into the into the rest of the year, then you don't just want to go throw it all away on holiday, really, oh, do you? I do feel like either way, though, like... Even if you're, even if you are training for a holiday and then you just don't give a fuck, if you don't give a fuck about anything, you probably will have a great time, but you will come back and feel a bit shit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like just, you don't have to kind of go on holiday and, and be perfect and, and certainly not track food and stuff like that and be like, mm-hmm. oh, I can't have that. But it's number one, don't be a pig. Like, don't just eat everything and anything for the sake of it because it's there. Like, if you really, really want it, have it. But mm-hmm. just be mindful of, of what you're eating and what you're drinking. Yeah. Because ultimately, you overconsume. The principles of fat loss don't change. If mm-hmm. you overconsume and you're laying on a sunbed all day, you're going to come back and you're going to be a bit heavier than you uh, than you went. But if you can get some steps in, go for a morning walk mm-hmm. or go to the gym and, and do a session if there's a gym there. And mm-hmm. there's no reason why the gym, you can't train. It's a, it's a lifestyle choice. Yeah. But like we said before, it's nice to have a break sometimes from the gym. Absolutely. Um, And then with your food, it's just it's just being mindful, isn't it? I think that's yeah. the main thing and just not eating anything and everything. Yeah. But in order to be mindful, you need to have that knowledge and education yeah. around nutrition, which is why, for example, meal plans, Yeah. set meal plans, yeah, they're good if you've got a short period of time to get to a specific goal. Mm-hmm. But really, really and truly, you're not learning anything from just sticking to no. one meal plan. You're not educating yourself about calories, about macros, about what's in what, about what has high high value nutrition and low value nutrition. You're not learning anything, which is why tracking foods is so helpful. Tracking your macros, tracking your calories and Having a bit of freedom within your fitness journey does really help because Mm -hmm. then when you go on holiday, it's not so much of a shock. It's not like, oh, I'm at this, you know, breakfast buffet and I don't know what to pick. I don't know what's going to be good for me because all I've been eating the last few days is boiled eggs and a bit of spinach. Do you know what I mean? It, it, It really comes from obviously educating yourself and knowing how to be mindful. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm trying to think of a word I was looking for. Um... What's the word? You might carry on because I can't think of this word. Describe the word for me. Expectation. Expectations. Yeah. So when you go away, I think like you mm. need to manage your expectations. Because mm-hmm. um, it's quite... Nine times out of ten, probably 9.5 times out of ten, 
if you go on if you're on a fat loss journey and you go on holiday, you're gonna come back heavier. Mm -hmm. That's just it's just the way it is. From mm -hmm. flights to different foods to potentially staying more hydrated because you're in a hot country. Um, so you need to manage that expectation that you're gonna mm -hmm. come back heavier and yeah. it's it's not as bad as you think. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, just the ex expectation of what you want to get out of the holiday and just, just mm -hmm. managing that. Like if you just be aware of 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 the weight increase that can happen. I think I'm just chatting crap right now. So uh, no, you all say it. No, everything you're saying is right. <laughs> I'm, it's right. I'm trying to get something out of my head and it's not you're just it's blabbling. Not just, just, um, yeah, just blabbling on. Yeah, I've got a client, for example, who's on holiday at the moment. Um, and she is one of those clients that she has to tick everything off every single day. Yeah. She has to get to the end of the week and all her... So with the app that we use, we obviously set all our clients specific goals each day. And... What I do when I do their check-in is I make sure that on their calendar every day all their things have been ticked off and if there obviously is something that hasn't been ticked off I ask the question why how can we help us to, to, to sort of do this whereas she is someone that you know if she doesn't tick something off that's going to really grind her gears so she's on holiday and she's saying I'm really enjoying myself um, but it's really pissing me off that I'm not ticking off my some of my circle she's she's still getting steps in she's being mindful with food um I think she went into the gym and did a gym session so she's mm -hmm. still ticking some stuff off and I just said well in your head replace anything that hasn't been ticked off with rest and recovery mm -hmm. because it's so important as well as training well eating well being good to have that rest and recovery, to have that break. And I just said, imagine all those circles rather than being, you know, hit 15,000 steps today. It's make sure you've rested, make sure you've had some recovery because that's just as important to to make sure that you do. Yeah. You, you look know, bored no, uh, when I'm talking. No, 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 I was, no, I was listening because I was, I was just thinking of clients that are the same. Sometimes it's like when you have them habits for so long, it can uh, frustrate people. Annoying, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. That you're not, you're not ticking it off, but... yeah. Yeah, it's just balance, isn't it? It's balance and expectation. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what's your what's your balance expectation for Crete? For Crete. Um, well, for me, Crete is... I'm looking at Crete as this is my holiday for the year. Yeah. Some people, like Mike, go on about eight holidays a year. So like they have a choice of loads of them and, and they get away a lot. Whereas this is... It's my only holiday that's a full week away. Yeah. And it's obviously a family holiday. We're spending time with Mike's family. So this is my holiday. And I think I think I had a business mentor however long ago. And he said, make sure you always have one proper holiday a year. Obviously, we went to Seville for a few days. We still did some work there, yeah. didn't we? Um, so make sure you always have a proper holiday. So this is my proper holiday. So I'm going to enjoy it to its fullest. But there's just a few things that we've said, isn't it? Like we were thinking, should we hire a car? But then we thought, well, there's a lot of things that's about what, 15, 20 minutes walking distance. So rather than hiring a car, let's just walk there and get some steps in instead. <laughs> that's already that's already a mindful choice that yeah, we've made. No, Could good. so easily get a car, drive everywhere and not really move much. But we're making it a priority to think, okay, no, let's go for a little walk and yeah. stuff like that. So we're still going to be getting a nice amount of steps in. Depending on how hot it is, are we going to run? Because well, we're going away with um, Mike's family, which is his brother, including his brother and girlfriend, who we're doing this 10K race with. So we've all sort of been on a bit of a running, well, oh. Sasha's absolutely smashed her running journey because she did a marathon, but we've all been a bit of a running journey. So... Are we all going to plan to maybe do a run? But it's literally like 35 degrees yeah, out there. I think hot. I will pass out. I think it'll be quite cool. Maybe just a are, little one. We are, we are vlogging, aren't we? So Yeah. I mean, do you know what I would sense. love to do is do like a really slow paced run, which isn't going to happen because Mike's just going to speed ahead anyway. But almost like, you know, when you want to just explore around, but do mm. that while running. We did that in Seville. In Seville, yeah. So I think that would maybe be nice. And maybe we stop off a few bits, like go on the beach and then run back and stop stuff like that. Get a beer. Get a beer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, in terms of as well, nutrition, um, I mean, we're staying in a villa. So we actually have quite sure, a lot of yeah. control yeah. over what we want to eat. Obviously, we're going to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. We're going out for dinner. We're going to do a big supermarket shop when we get there. And we're obviously going to get some nice bits and bobs. But we do have that sort of 
that freedom to think, okay, well, maybe for breakfast we have something quite decent and then for lunch we have something quite decent as well, well and then we have like a really nice dinner yeah, that we could put together. Everyone's on a bit of a health kick at the moment. My dad's yeah. also been on a, he's a few stone down. He's done really like well. Dean and Sasha are doing their thing. Mum always does her thing. So yeah. like, the, the, thing that's, the thing that can be annoying is like when people, when you say, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll eat some healthier stuff, people mm. are like, oh, you're being boring. Yeah. But it's not about that, is no. it, really? You can still have some... I mean, with Dean cooking, we're, we're quite a touch, aren't we? Oh, he's an unreal cook. Um, so you can still eat eat well. It's just, it's just control it's not, of portions. And I yeah. mean, for most people on most holidays, let's face it, is, alcohol is, is the killer, really, because you're not... You can polish away 10 drinks a day. Yeah, this is going to be a... An alcohol holiday yeah, for sure. I mean, we the, know the that. Whole family love to have a drink. Yeah, so. we love we love to have a drink all together. It's 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 what we do. Yeah. So, but but it's it's not being boring. It's like I don't want to feel disgusting. Yeah. Like when you go from obviously we're pretty good at home to a full week of just shit. It makes you feel rubbish. You're on holiday. I don't want to feel yeah. rubbish. I want to feel good. I want to feel energized. I want to enjoy myself. Obviously, Mike's little niece is there, so we're gonna be playing in the pool and yeah, like and stuff fun. like that. So I don't want to feel sluggish and rubbish. That's what's so, good about the city breaks, actually. I think me and Jamie average like twenty thousand steps a day. Yeah, that's unreal. So like you, although you feel heavy with mm. like water retention from untracked foods, or it be pizza, pasta, whatever, um, you know subconsciously that you've done. 20,000 steps a day. Mm -hmm. So you know that your calorie burn is relatively high. So you're, yeah. you're just damage control. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be managed, but it's it's just damage control, isn't it? And you yeah. come back and I, I don't feel gross, really. Mm -hmm. I feel all right. Yeah. I feel yeah. tired. I feel tired. Yeah. yeah, you must be. Not the only one that was off all night, but you yeah. know, <laughs> it's the only one that gets any uh, sympathy. Um, well, we went to bed at like 10 o'clock, mate. <laughs> I didn't. It was 11, actually. And there you go. You and I was woken up by sleep, you. Three hours sleep, more than it. You um, woke up by me because I gave you a cuddle. Aww, so yeah, nice. next time I won't. I'll just Aww. sneak in. Aww. Also, I didn't wait the dog in. I know. I, I, I know. I don't know how you did it. Mate, I let the cab driver got, I got out the door and then he got out and I was like, no, no I'll get the bags because I didn't want him to talk. Yeah. He was like, have a nice evening, mate. And Aww. I was like, oh, you fucked it for me. He yeah. now heard that. Yeah. And uh, when I come upstairs, he, he was in his crate, like circling. Was he? Yeah, oh, so he did wake up? Yeah, yeah. But he just didn't bark? Just That's good. There. I just did there. Just didn't move. Oh, right. And then I heard him go back down and then I uh, snuck into the room. That's really good then. Yeah. He woke up but didn't start. He usually starts barking and we have yeah, to go and get him. Yeah, he's a bit crazy and you'll get up and all that jazz. Um, um, anyway, recap. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, dependent on your fitness journey, dependent on your priorities, but don't let a holiday ruin the journey for you don't mm. let it take you back to square one you can still be controlling majority of things whilst you're on holiday at the same time as enjoying yourself oh good thing oh go on don't let the holiday ruin the journey but also don't let the journey ruin the holiday whoa that's a good one i was about to get my affirmation up but i don't think i'm gonna a, need it after one, that yeah. that's a yeah. good one because it's so easy for someone to ruin their holiday because they're on a journey and it's a bit Chaotic, and then that goes back down to if you're tracking, you it enables you to be more free because intuitively you can eat and you know the values of food, so you can be in your head. Quick maths: I'm relatively eating good, mm -hmm. nutritious stuff, doing my step count. I'm sort of hydrated, so you're kind of still on plan. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Whereas if you don't know, then you feel like you're throwing everything out the window, and it can be a bit of a panic, and then you can end up resenting the holiday or come back feeling shit. Mm -hmm. You go on holidays, unless you're going to like Ibiza or something, you want to come back feeling refreshed. You don't want to come yeah. back with a five day hangover. No. Um, with stag vid or whatever you, you called it. Yeah, um, we so, all know uh, what those are like, don't we, Michael? Yeah. Anyway, affirmation. Affirmation. Sorry. Affirmation. affirmation. Um, so, this is quite good for what we've been speaking about. A 30 minute workout is only 2% of your day. You can make that time. So even if you're on holiday, going for a 30 minute walk, 2%. it's only going to take up 2% of your day. So why not do it? You've got another 98% of your day yeah. to get on the boozer. Yeah. Have a little bit of fun. You now, know? now, do some maths. And how much percent of your day do you spend on TikTok on Instagram? Yeah. <clears throat> I reckon that's fifty percent of your day. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
I hope obviously like people enjoy knowing that like we're not like fitness obsessed and like yeah. we are just normal people we're just like you we do like to go on holiday we do like to have a drink we do like to have a bit of fun we do like to go out for dinner like it's life you've got to, you've got to enjoy it you've got to be happy be as healthy as you can and enjoy your fucking life yeah you know that's I mean? why we get um get the results we get mm -hmm. with people because it's not it's not a uh, I know a lot of coaches do an understandable approach and, and that's great, but that's kind of what we push. Mm -hmm. Like if you're going to go on holiday and in, in, enjoy it, mm -hmm. stuff like that, you you need to enjoy enjoy foods. And otherwise it's like, it's not sustainable, is it? You're going to, you're going to last for a little bit and then you're going to reverse backwards. And yeah. 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 Anyway, good chat. Good chat. Right. You're going to go have a nap now. I'm going to go to the toilet. Uh, I've been needing the toilet the whole time I've been sitting there. Ooh, so, yeah. what? Number one or two? Yeah, <laughs> Um, thank you very much for listening, everyone. If you're going on holiday, enjoy it. Enjoy yourself. And we will speak to you in the next one. I might just keep dragging this out so yeah. that Mike can't go to the toilet. See ya. I'm Bye. Going. <laughs>